Plus, the Clippers in a pivotal game three tonight in the only first round series where the two teams split the first two games. The team that wins game three, the series tied at one all, goes on to win the series 76% of the time. They'll have a short turnaround from tonight's game three to game four, which will be Sunday, 3.30 Eastern, ABC. We welcome in our NBA analyst. Hold on. Clipper. Former Don't Clipper. Don't say the name yet. Oh, you want to call you ever been, Have you ever been yeah. to the, when he was with the Detroit Pistons? You ever go to one of their games? No. Number three, Chauncey. Number who? Number who? Oh, number who? I just said, I thought you said number three. I didn't wear number three, man. Oh, Bye. I forgot. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh, <laughs> you know what, Harrison? That's what you get when you let him take it. Yeah, he's like, what is he doing? Is he doing? Phillips. You got that part right. I thought he said. You know, see, what was your number? How quickly we What was your number? Numero uno. Ooh. Yeah, damn. Numero uno. Oh, I Number three. John C. I made him put that shirt on. That's why he made me put the shirt on. You know what? I forgot. It's been a long time, man. Oh, it's been theater. a long time. Oh, that theater. Got it's been it wrong. a long time. Okay, our boy's here. Try I had the intro, though. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a good intro. I had the intro. You got the intro right. Right. Former Clipper. Uh, here's a question. So after game three and four are done, where will this series stand on Monday? Essentially, a pick what's going to happen on three and four. I think it'd be 2-2. Two, two. Right. I think they go back home 2-2. Two two. I think both of these teams are closely matched um, with the exception of the depth of San Antonio. I think it was a quick turnaround. For game three, I think it's going to be another quick turnaround, which I think favors the athletes. Okay. Um, I don't know how Tony Parker's feeling, okay. which is a big deal. It, it, that that shifts out their depth yeah. as well. So I think it goes back 2-2. Two, two. So are you guessing tonight will belong to which team? I think the Clippers' best opportunity is tonight. Yeah. Um, with it being a quick turnaround. And I thought the Clippers played well. I thought they I gave it they away. Did. I thought they played. I think they're playing good basketball right now. Um, and as a sidebar, I think you're right. They, they did mess over DeAndre Jordan for that defensive player of the year. I do believe that. See, they says they're missing a piece. Was, would, would that be you? Do they need you now? Uh, as slow as I'm running right now, I don't think I don't think I can do it, but I can knock down a shot. All right, so time out. He wore number three. Well, he wore number three, but the announcer would say 6-3, Chauncey. There you go. Okay. There so you go. You were there. I, yeah, you I, were my, there. My bad. My no, bad. you were right. I mean, they... I was at all the games. I mean, come on now. You were, you were close. You were close. That's all right. It's okay. You got me. Of course, right. a hand grenade. That's the only time I'm close. Listen, listen. He's the one guy that could get me. He made me put on a daggone T-shirt over my suit. What? For the Pistons championship jersey because I had picked the Lakers. Oh. And he made me wear the shirt. And all that he got ripped and all of them to make me wear the shirt. It's just it was embarrassing. It messed up my wardrobe, but it's all right. Mm. I, I deserved it because I picked the Lakers to win that series. Here's the deal. Uh huh. When I think about these Clippers. I picked San Antonio to win the series in six because I thought the experience mm -hmm. and DeAndre's free throw shooting would cost them. Now I'm thinking about Tiago's splitter of all people, not being ready to go, really not much, and Tony Parker. You really think that San Antonio can still take a game over these next two, even with those two out? That the Clippers can? No, that, that San Antonio can win even one of these games, games three or four, with both of them out, with if both of them end up being out. I do, and, and this is why, because of their depth, man. I mean, at some point, Chris, Blake, DeAndre, they got to okay. come out of the game. Mm -hmm. They've got to come out of the game, and for those seven, eight, nine minutes, I mean, they, they can be dominated, especially on the road at San Antonio. I mean, you, you, got, the, you got Patty Mills and... And, and Boris Diaz, who hadn't made very many shots, he can make shots. Danny Green, these guys are going to make shots. Kawhi Leonard. Leonard. Yeah, they, they don't have an answer for Kawhi. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a matter of time before he explodes and has a, a huge, huge game. So I think it's, we're in for a very long series, I do. Mm. Steve, what do you think? I got to know that Tony Parker and um, and Tiago Spiller can go. I think it, I, I think if they if they can go, and they can play, they can give you 25 to 30 minutes. I think San Antonio could still win this series in six. If either one of them are not good for you, Clippers win in six games. Mm -hmm. That's how I view this series right now. So you got a lot of variables there. Well, that's, 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 that's What's your gut feeling on Monday? Man, well, what do you think? My gut feeling is that it's 2-2 on Monday. My gut feeling is that it's 2-2 on Monday, but... I'm wondering how many bodies San Antonio is going to have available mm. to them for Tuesday in L.A. Mm. Because the Clippers are not losing Tuesday in L.A. I don't believe that. Mm. I'll also go 2-2, two, two, but I got different takes on it. I think tonight, I'm just guessing on this, I think Tony Parker might not play a minute tonight. I think Pop might just say, 
let, let's ice that Achilles. He's got a severe Achilles tendonitis. So you, you've been through, you had the torn Achilles, obviously. Yeah. Did it ever plague you before it tore? No, it didn't. Okay, it, it just didn't. went. Yeah. Okay, so so Tony is, is a shell of himself. He's got no lift on his jump shot, can't get to the rim the way he used to. So the little engine that drove this offense is, is probably, it, it's very possible he won't be available at all and that he'll try to, to keep him on ice for, for Sunday afternoon with a quick turnaround. Tim Duncan played 44 minutes the other night. He turns 39 on Saturday. So on the eve of his 39th birthday, I, I just don't think he's going to play a whole lot of minutes. I, I just think you can't. Maybe 25 minutes, maybe 28 minutes. Splitter, I think, is easing back in the rotation. I'm going to say it again. Splitter can guard Blake Griffin. When he is right, he can at least hold his own with Blake. Just hold his own. He, his feet are quicker than you give him credit for. He bothers Blake. It, Blake's developed a shot that I never thought he would have, that, that sort of 15-foot, 10-foot shot. And so that's going to be a key to tonight. But, but now it's just about the, you're talking about the depth. Well, I just dissipated my depth here. You know, like if, if Duncan doesn't play a lot, I'm not sure about Splitter's calf, but if, if he can play more, Tony Parker might not play. Well, all of a sudden, it starts to even out on the depth. Now you have to go to your depth a lot quicker. So tonight doesn't feel good to me. It, it feels like this should be the Clippers game. But do or die on Sunday, as we saw in game two at Staples, the Spurs are hard to beat when it's time to win a, a basketball game. And I still think this team has that, that championship grit to it. They know how to win a game when it's time to win a game, and they will win on Sunday. I'm, I'm not going to put it past them to win game five, but we'll see how that Spurs? Goes. Yeah. Like I said, it's all about their health. I don't care who you are. You, the athletes that the Clippers are and the way they come at you with their starting five, and I know they can't go really any deeper than six. I mean, the Glenn Big Baby. I personally believe that Glenn Big Baby Davis should be utilized more simply to just lean on somebody. He's so daggone big. Just put him in there just to lean on you well, for, for, for 10 minutes. Just yeah. let him wear on you a little bit because that's a big boy. Got trunks for legs for crying out loud. Just lean on you. You understand? And then Jamal Crawford, he's going to boogie on you when he comes into the game. They're starting five. I think they can come at you in droves. That's what I believe they can do. And I think that if you're not, if you're San Antonio and you're not healthy, you got a problem. Okay, I got to swing it back to Chauncey. You know this team. You know it's psyche. You know it's... It's sort of basketball IQ and character. I still can't believe that the Spurs stole that game the other night when Tony Parker just opted out. He just waved out of the game at 520, so he wasn't in the game anymore. And then Ginobili takes a stupid sixth foul. He thought he had four. He took his sixth. He's gone. So for the last eight minutes and 52 seconds, counting overtime, two of the big three are not on the floor for the Spurs, and they win. And Blake made a blunder, man, when he had the basketball with, what was it, nine seconds to go. If he just hangs on to the ball and shoots the ball, I think they win. You know? Oh, okay, so what was your take on that? They stole the game. I mean, but but the Clippers handed it to them. I mean, they, they made some questionable, play, questionable plays down the stretch. Obviously, the couple turnovers that Blake made, I mean, it happens. It happens. I mean, it, I don't think it was because he was nervous or the moment got too big for him. I don't think that was the, the case at all. It just happens. It just happens. But you look at the two teams and you look at the experience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes experience just shows up. You know, right. San Antonio is right there. Mm -hmm. And they're ready to take advantage right. of any opportune time. Mm -hmm. And they did that. They did just that. Tim Duncan was great. He was awesome. I don't know that he'll be that great again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tonight. Probably right. But they're, they're going to need him to be great again, especially with Tony down. And San Antonio, or rather the Clippers, cannot play three on five basketball. Blake Griffin, the mistakes you want to point out, Skip, the brother is averaging 20. Oh, he's just 12. Well, unstoppable. Okay. And Chris Seattle Paul, Splitter cannot guard Blake Griffin. That's right. Blake that's right. And Chris, no, no he can't. No. And Chris, not no. You, you know, that, that, that is an insult to Tiago. And I hope he, he watches our show pretty to close. Tiago. Yes, it that's is. That's an insult to Blake Oh, listen, Griffin. it's an insult to Tiago Splitter and the Spurs organization. Trust me, oh, the coaching no. staff, if they're watching right now, they're thinking Chauncey doesn't get it. Can I say something? Chauncey doesn't get it. Chauncey's right, and I hope Blake doesn't get it. Gentlemen. Uh, Gentlemen, wrong. forget Tiago split. Wrong. It's just a matter of Blake Griffin being away from the basket. Tiago can guard him down low. He can't guard Blake away from the basket. But let's get to this. Chris, Chris, stop it. Chris Paul is averaging 26 and 12, okay? The problem is Matt Barnes right now and J.J. Reddick. J.J. Reddick is shooting 32% for the field. Matt Barnes is averaging six points a game. Those are two. Those are two of your five starters. 
Something's got to give. I'm just saying, I want, whoever's God, whoever Kawhi Leonard is guarding, we understand. Yeah. Whoever Kawhi Leonard is not guarding, you got to get off a little bit more in this series. You have to. You have okay. to. In, in, in my opinion, if you get J.J. going, you get J.J. Reddick going in either one of these games with Chris still shooting almost 60% and playing fantastic mm -hmm. in the series, Blake Griffin has been unstoppable, DeAndre's having a great series. If you get one of those guys to show up, now this this thing may get out of hand for San Antonio. By the way, I said CP's averaging 12. He's averaging six and a half. Six okay, okay. Real quick, we had you on two years ago at the finals, and you talked about how the league was viewing Blake as a little soft at that point. What have you seen in his evolution as a player? He's gotten much better. Yeah. He's gotten much better. He's taken the ball to the basket. His jump shot is impeccable mm -hmm. right now. It is. One thing I know about Blake is he's a tireless worker. He's going to come to work. He's there before everybody. He leaves after everybody. And those, those, those habits have transferred over to the court. Now, I mean, he's playing. He, he's... he's He's in his prime, and he'll be there for a long time. All right. So the gentlemen believe on Monday the series will be 2-2. Uh, Chauncey, always a pleasure. I love that you give him a hard time. You That's my guy. Friends. I'm just happy to see him. I've been here 10 times. I haven't seen him once. I know. I got to watch him on TV when I'm <laughs> even on the show. <laughs> mm. It's crazy. It's mm. crazy. Yeah, every time. Y'all have no idea. You know what? He, I, I tell you one thing. Do you know what he calls me? What does he call you? Calls me Mush. Why? Him and Kobe. Mush? From the Bronx Hill. Oh. <laughs> I was bad luck. You know, if I pick you, it's cat. bad luck. I'm the black cat. You, Sue wait, Jackson he, called me the Grim Reaper. But he kind of said that, too. He likes when you go to get to yeah, see what he does. Yeah, He's yeah. like, yeah, I'm sit there and win. Kobe called me Mush, and he was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then he said, Mush. don't pick us. Mush. Him. Mush. Right. All because of the Lakers series. A pleasure. Derrick Rose looks like the MVP of old. When we return, we discuss. We'll be right back in just a few moments.